Hey there folks, got another day of Doom battle for you today. It's an OU battle against SS1989 of Smogon, and I just played like crap. Okay, so my opponent leads off with Rotom Wash. I lead off with my Rotom Heat Form, uh, just thinking I could scout out who he'd sent out, but I don't want to take a Hydro Pump, so I go out straight out into Jirachi. Uh, to take either the Volt Switch or the Hydro Pump or whatever, basically to scout out what kind of set he's running. It appears he's running a Scarf set. Um, Hydro Pump is hitting like, whoa, but I'm hoping for him to miss. Uh, I survive on 26 after two Hydro Pumps. Uh, no misses. I'm up to 51 after leftovers. I'm going to switch out without Wish Up. I think I can send out Jufro, um, who will resist the Hydro Pump and will hopefully be back up to full HP thanks to that Wish. That Hydro Pump does a lot considering it's resisted, but then again, I am running zero HP, zero defense, zero, uh, SP, D. The idea is that it's, um, it's better for endeavoring. But anyway, uh, back up to full HP, I uh, paralyze Heatran on the switch, and now I taunt him thinking he might be the Stealth Rock set, and indeed he is, and I'm like, yeah, oh, that was a great move. I'm gonna switch out here, go out into HCHB, he's got an air balloon, so I really can't deal with him with Donka, and he goes for the Magma Storm. Holy crap, that's a move you don't see every day. Um, it means I'm trapped in, but, you know, what am I gonna... I mean, of course I'm trapped in, what the hell. Uh, so I go for a Shell Smash here, thinking that he'd switch out, because why would you just sacrifice your Heatran? I mean, I guess he probably doesn't have a Cleric, but I was I was really expecting him to switch out. I was not expecting him to stay in and go for the um, the Flash Cannon, take out my Karakasta. I should have just gone for the Surf, but I'm such an idiot. So here, I go for the full Switch, um, just to break that Air Balloon so that Don Fan can take care of this guy. Uh, I do break his air balloon, it does a lot of damage because I am Specs. Go out into Peanut, uh, and now he's gonna set up uh, Stealth Rock considering his taunt wore off, that's a shame, but oh well, I do have a spinner out, and it's out right here. So I go for the Earthquake, take out Heatran, and that's one Pokemon down. Um, anyway, now for my opponent is going to be Gengar, uh, gonna block my Rapid Spins, he was expecting me to switch, I just set up Stealth Rock, so my own this turn, gonna wanna break that multi-scale of Dragonite once it comes out. Go for the Ice Shard, I actually calped it, and there's only about a 50% chance of this even breaking the sub, but it does, which is lucky. Gengar's gonna go for the Shadow Ball, uh, and, you know, I, I take that hit okay, but I'm gonna die to another one, so gonna need to switch out, gonna absolutely need to switch out. So Peanut is called back, go out into Jirachi, essentially as Death Fodder, I mean, there's a chance he, yeah, he actually got one for the Sable, but he's gonna outspeed me for sure, I mean, you can see that with the leftovers, I'm not running max speed. Um, and so, yeah, obviously, so Gengar is going to take me out, uh, Jirachi is down for the count, um, but that's just what I was expecting. So now I go out into Jufro, um, going, he's going to withdraw, uh, go out into Scissor, I just went for the priority, uh, stun spore, just the idea that I could, uh, cripple that, um, that guy, so anyway, and then... I don't know what else I'd do after the words. Uh, but anyway, gonna need to switch out here. Uh, not gonna want to take whatever move Scissors got packing. Here, I am going to go for a dumb move. I go for Dark Pulse, expecting him to switch, but he stays in. And I'm like, ah, why? Why? I should've just gone for the overheat, dealt with it really easily, but I'm just an idiot. Now here I go out into Peanut, thinking that I should be able to take these hits. It appears that he's banded, um, he, although that was a crit. But uh, he just keeps on going for those bullet punches, so I'm just going to assume that he's banded. I go out into Tachikoma. Here I make another stupid, stupid move. I take that bullet punch just fine. Why the f*** did I go for the trick? Why? What, did I want the choice ban? No. Could I have KO'd easily with any move under the sun? Yes! Why did I do that? That was so damn stupid. If I didn't want to lock myself into overheat, I could have gone for the Volts, which I would have KO'd. I mean, considering how much damage that, that did. So now, well, at least he's not banded, but still, that's... I was just so stupid, 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 stupid. Dumbest move ever. Anyway, go for the extreme speed, a plus one. I'm hoping that I can take him out. I don't, and I think I might have counted that, and it was unlikely. Anyway, luckily I survive on 9 HP. Um, and I am a plus one, uh, speed and attack, but, eh. Now, this guy's almost certainly scarfed, so he's gonna outspeed me, so I have, I'm forced to go for the extreme speed, even though I do the counts, there's no way that's gonna KO. And it doesn't KO, and now he's going to KO me with a Volt Switch, at least I get the Switch advantage, considering I've got two Pokemon left, uh, and actually one of them is Death Fodder on entry, considering that those Stealth Rocks are up. So I got into Jufro, my last usable Pokemon. 
I'm gonna go for the stun spore because not much else I can do. He goes for the outrage. Why the hell not? At that, at this point, there was really no dis uh, downside to him using outrage. Go out into Tachikoma, uh, less than a quarter of HP left with Stealth Rock Shop means it's dead on arrival, and that is the game. So, great game, SS1989, I'm sorry I was such an idiot. Folks, this really was the day of hell so long.